The House of Light brings clarity to your soul, offering a safe space for healing through our compassionate practitioners, services, classes, and wisdom, plus the tools to support you in our retail space. Good morning. Welcome to WQEE 99.1. I'm Donna. And I am Bruce. And this is... Lyrical Wisdom. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Bruce. How are you today? Uh, You know, I have to be honest. I tell the truth. (laughs) I'll step away if I begin to cough. I am coming off of... There's a lot of, um, you know, chest stuff going around right now. Yeah. And um, I am... I am recovering. So... (laughs) Well, Sometimes my voice may be a little off or I may start coughing, but I'm here and I'm so happy to be here. Well, uh, since every anybody listening is, uh, you can't really see Donna right now, I would assume uh, she is a shining light this morning. Oh, thank so you, Bruce. It's wonderful to be here. <laughs> I appreciate and you. You uh, brought to uh, this, morning, uh, this morning show this wonderful song. Yes, and it to me it was like, oh my god, this is the perfect song because last week's show was "Don't Fear the Reaper." The Reaper. That's right, Blue Oyster Cult. Thank you. I'm sorry, I was looking at you thinking, what song did we? And yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and and we learned that a reaper should not be feared because no. what is reaper? One what who reaper? reaps. Yeah, it was a wonderful, <laughs> who wonderful. harvests, yeah, right? Yeah, a wonderful, yeah. wonderful song with actually. Um, you know, uh, I think probably a totally different message than what a lot of people think when they when they hear it. And it's um, that's actually something that looks like it resonates through this song, too. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, and, and actually, you had mentioned that um, that it is a love song. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When if you just take it literally. Um, it is. It's a beautiful love song, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually, I, we, we agree on that one. And, and also, um, there's a lot more to it. Oh yeah. And so, um, I, uh, I get to read this morning, so I am very happy to, uh, introduce to you all out there, Harvest Moon by Neil Young. This is Harvest Moon by Neil Young. Now, if any of you guys have any uh, requests or thoughts, you think, well, boy, that would be really fun to ask Donna and Bruce to analyze something like Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go by (laughs) Wham! or something. Anything you want to send to us, honestly, requests, ideas, just comments, comments. anything at all, we are uh, able to be contacted at lyrical wisdom show at gmail.com that's lyrical wisdom show at gmail.com so without further ado harvest moon by neil young come a little bit closer hear what i have to say just like children sleeping we could dream this night away but there's a full moon rising Let's go dancing in the light. We know where the music's playing. Let's go out and feel the night. Because I'm still in love with you. I want to see you dance again. Because I'm still in love with you. On this harvest moon. When we were strangers, I watched you from afar. When we were lovers, I loved you with all my heart. But now it's getting late, and the moon is climbing high. I want to celebrate, see it shining in your eye. Because I'm still in love with you. I want to see you dance again, because I'm still in love with you on this harvest moon Mm. and you know what there is a full moon tomorrow oh my goodness (laughs) it's um at first i thought oh my gosh it's a harvest moon but it's the hunter's moon this weekend tomorrow tomorrow that's incredible tomorrow uh, that's that's actually um something that uh 
is interesting because we were talking about this earlier when we were uh, talking about this song, and that is that um, the full moon being the hunter's moon this weekend, so close to Halloween, is very interesting to me because Halloween presents a very magical time to be out in nature. Oh, yeah. And and I feel that actually through this song mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the fact that it is... A lot like that to me. That's what I feel that comes through with these lyrics. And and let me Magic. let me step aside. Yes, <laughs> let me step aside and allow Donna to make some comments here. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful song! Well, it starts off with such a um, a special way. Yeah. Come a little bit closer. Hear what I have to say. To me, a lot of times we we feel disconnected or mm -hmm. we feel yeah. like we're so far away from touching what so many people call the source which i define as love yes and yes. we find or we think we're so far away from love yes when and don't know where to look for it yeah. um and now you can hear many people talk about having ears that hear oh my gosh yes so yes, yes. I believe that right here, it's directions yes. on how to receive those ears that hear. Absolutely. Just come a little bit closer. Yes. And what, what are we coming closer to, though? To hear what I have to say. Well, yes, exactly. <laughs> and to me, that a little bit closer is... Find that space yes. and, and, and close the gap. Allow yourself to receive. Yes, yes. Yeah. Connect. Connect in your heart to that love that yeah. you know is there. Yes. And then you can begin to hear, just like children sleeping. Oh, my gosh. To me, all I can think of is peace. Yes. I loved watching my children sleep. I... And it... I mean, it doesn't have to be your child. No, just no, think. It yeah. I mean, how many of you out there have just looked at a child sleeping, or not necessarily a child? How about a dog or a cat? Oh my gosh! It just rests. fills you. Yeah, it yes, fills you with this warmth. Yes, the peace that is yeah. there. It just. Yeah. It gives you, yeah, this space to be able to hear yeah it gives you that instant gift of being able to be in what um some people try to achieve when they're trying to get to um i hope uh some of you out there are, um i hope this kind of gives you that tingly feeling but that parasympathetic state yes because exactly. that, that's that's what i was just thinking like when you're able to feel that moment when we feel that Ah, that feel of, of that calm warmth of love and all of that that we were just describing. Mm -hmm. That is the like the ticket, if you will, that buys you the buys you passage to the parasympathetic state, I feel like. Right. And it, it gives you the ability, like you're just saying, like it basically how that first, you know, paragraph goes, because then that last line, we could dream this night away. Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away because when you look at that child sleeping and when you look at that dog or cat sleeping and you see that, that beautiful, oh, that just beautiful picture peace there. Peace and, and calm. Yeah, peace yeah. and calm. It's like you're... They've got to be having good dreams. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and dreaming the night away, a lot of people associate, I believe, night with, um, with dreams, of course. Yes. But for me, I also see that as, okay, there's another aspect to that of being able to dream the darkness away. Oh, yes. In other words, whatever negativity, whatever darkness, whatever, you know, unease mm -hmm. is going on within your life at that very moment, if you just come a little bit closer... To that source of love, yes. you'll be able to hear what it has to yes. say, and connect, and you can go into that that space of peace and yes. calm, yes. and then you can begin to dream yes. what you know what's on the other side of this darkness, <laughs> right? That is so true, you begin yes. to dream the night away, yeah. whether it is in you know 
a true just sleeping through the night and such peaceful dreams yeah. or dreaming of the darkness, the dis ease and, right, and the right, negativity yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. just gone yeah. and be able to dream of the joy and peace that's going to be coming into your life when it's oh my gosh yeah on the other side oh my gosh yeah and that's um well that's beautiful and that's exactly the way i see that too we could dream this night away it's there's just, a full moon rising oh gosh yeah let's go dancing in the light what do you do you see anything special in there? For... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for you out there, you're thinking, are they, you know, because we can see each other in the studio, so I feel like you see the twinkle in each other's eyes when we're talking on these microphones. And it... I just want that to be known to you guys out there because honestly, yeah, we... We're communicating <laughs> in our... <laughs> and so, yes, in because our like, there's something so special to a full moon rising and let's go dancing in the light. Oh my gosh. Um, the ceremony of that is something that really resonates with me and getting together with friends or family or being with people that you love and there's the full moon and feeling like you can celebrate the change and the, and the difference that the full moon brings and go dancing in the light. Yeah. To me, we, we both know that full moons are a time of opportunity exactly. for us to be able to release what no longer serves us, exactly. which is what we were talking about yes, in yes, the yes. first of yes. this song. There's a full moon rising. In other words, that light is coming yep. for us to be able to see what it is that that is bothering us, that negativity. And it allows us to dance in the, the light. light. And and to be light, able to shake it off, shake it let off. it go. <laughs> and a lot of times, if um, if people gather and have this kind of ceremony and this kind of feeling of release like this, maybe they do it under the full moon without any kind of heat or fire. But um, I know that I have personally had a bonfire, and I've also had that sensation of, throwing things into the fire. Mm -hmm. um, I know one of our friends recommends that sometimes. And we we have this ceremony of releasing these things with the music and the dancing and the full moon light. And, and the funny thing is, is it's a little bit like Lin, Lin and Yang. Yin, yeah. yin and Yang in the sense that we have the white spot in the middle of the darkness and the dark spot in the middle of the lightness, if you will. And you have the plants there are certain plants that flower in the evening mm -hmm. when it's dark that's when they do a lot of their flowering and yeah. they actually become what they are intending to become because it's dark yeah. there is goodness in the dark oh yeah just like the full moon's light right. and so you know that's part of what i think is also um the beauty in this message is that you know there is there is this uh beauty in the sense of this harvest moon there's a lot of people that don't even realize you know what what's what's happening they just love going out and dancing under the moonlight That's funny. yes yes knowing yeah not really realizing that what you're doing is you're allowing that space yes. to come in to fill yourself with joy yes that's, you know, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. And we know where the music's playing. Man, we do. Let's go out and feel, feel. Yes. the night. Yes. Where does your music play, Bruce? <laughs> I feel like it plays from my heart. Yes. You, I, me I, too. <laughs> uh, yes. It's like a rhetorical question between us right now. It's really funny. But, uh, you know, that's the thing is that honestly, yes. And that's where it should feel like it's resonating from, of course. You know, yeah, that beautiful, yeah. That beautiful heart. You know, there's a saying that just came to mind that I believe a lot of people have heard. Don't, don't die with your music still in you. <laughs> Right, I think yeah. I think I've heard that before. Something similar I to think that. I've heard that too. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, and to me, that's what it's all about. Do you know where your music is playing? Yeah. Can you hear your music? Yeah. Because every everyone's music is playing all the time, and they right. are, they are their music is playing, and they need yeah. to hear it because a lot of times we forget that. Uh, 
we need to like listen to our own music and that's weird to say but we do we need yeah. to listen to our own heart if you will and, right. and listen to our own music because what are we we are frequency we beings we are we are and <laughs> we all have a our own independent sound we do our unique individual sound yes, our yes, voices yes. are all unique unto us yes yeah? yes and then you can feel the night yes in other words allow that allow that darkness to come to feel yes whether it is sadness grief yeah. anger frustration whatever it is that's in that moment you're able to feel it because you're being held you are by the and, light and you are being held in the, by the light and, and it's um the next line because i'm still in love with you i want to see you dance again um that line to me is, you know, you could take that as being the love song that is saying it to somebody else. But I also feel like it is a comment on looking basically in the mirror. Mm. And somebody is looking basically at themselves and yeah. just saying, you know, with through all of this, let's go out and feel the night. Because we should feel like we can feel the night by being able to feel free to be absolutely true and honest as ourselves. Right. And feel the night because we are able to feel it as releasing all of our attachments, uh, you know, the, the things that we feel are distracting us <laughs> from releasing yeah. this and feeling that love, feeling the love that we feel for ourselves so that we can just sing and dance without any fear because who cares what we're doing what movement we're making what song we could be singing you know it because you're just feeling the love you are just feeling the love <laughs> and yeah. allowing it to yes. move through you yes. right yes. right yes. because i'm still in love with, with you, you. Yes. and if we go back to the beginning to come a little bit closer yes. it's it's that love it's yes. it's that source it's it, the creator you know, we all came from love, did, and that's yes. what it's saying here. I'm yes. still in love with you, even though you might be feeling the night, right, right. feeling darkness. I'm still in love with you. Still, all those yes. moments yes. that, you know, you think you're unlovable uh -huh. are when you're loved the they most. Are. And it's funny because a lot of times our noticing that we are still loved and are noticing ourselves for who we are and seeing ourselves and being able to love ourselves and appreciate ourselves. We have to take a minute to step back and be able to realize that the thing that's distracting us from that is not as important as we thought it was in the first place. Mm -hmm. And can, can you still be in love with yes. that, with yes. you of course. in it's... that moment right. of realization? That's, I think what Me this too. is. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see you dance again. Yeah. Deep down inside, we all just want to dance. We do. <laughs> and, and it is, I love to do, uh, one of my favorites is the, the toddler bounce, where they're just standing on their two feet and they just bounce up and down. And it's <laughs> just a simple thing, but it's yeah. like one of my favorite dances yeah. to do. Because like, yeah. it is so freeing. And that's whenever I see a little baby doing that, I'm thinking, what love and what joy. Yeah. You know? It yeah. is just... And, and I think that that next line, because I'm still in love with you on this harvest, harvest. moon, yeah. I think that is so powerful because it's making that statement of with that full moon so bright and shining so clearly yeah. on everything yes. and all that darkness. Yep. I still love you. Yes. <laughs> it's all out there, bear it open for everything to be seen, right. to feel, yeah. to, to work on all of that shadow work. Yeah. Uh, when we were strangers, that's... I love this line. Mm -hmm. I watched you from afar. I love that line because it makes me realize, or it, what I think of when I was thinking of this, um, and we were talking about this earlier, is this this sense that when we were strangers, I watched you from afar, there was still a connection there. The love was yeah. still there. Yeah. But that's also that moment when, you know, if you think of it as two people, you could think of the two people as the one person because in order for the person to look at themselves as stranger and watching from afar, they had to separate themselves from being able to feel and see themselves for the beautiful soul that they are. 
and feel that love that they have because they're so distracted from this 3D world or whatever we're living through right now that it is too hard to look at themselves and feel the love for themselves. When mm -hmm. we were strangers, I, I looked at myself, like looking at yourself from afar yeah. and looking at this stranger. And then when we were lovers, I loved you with all my heart. And yes, that just gives me goosebumps thinking of it that way. And, and you know, if you think of it for another person, yes, that is a beautiful statement. It's like a poem for a, a lover. But at the same time, for to be talking about just the individual, holy cow. That's... Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's, you were just speaking of duality, <laughs> of, you know, the... The fact that, that we disconnect ourselves, we don't think we're connected to our divine source, yes. you know, and, and that's when we become strangers yes, yes. to that, yeah. which is us. Yes. It's simply me, um, divine. Recognizing and your own power. Exactly. Right. Recognizing the love that I truly yes. am, yes. the source, yeah. you know, that I am. Yeah. And... So it's saying when, when you disconnect, you know, I'm still there. I'm still connected. I'm watching <laughs> yes. you from afar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, but when you're lovers, when you can really hold that source in your heart, um, you know, churches and religion talk about this all the time, about having Jesus in the heart, uh -huh. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and you can tell when people are like that because they're just so in love they are. with life and there's because something... they're holding that love that Jesus really is. And it's magnetic. It's a magnet pulling you towards them because right. you just can't, you don't know why you're pulled towards them. You just want to be around them. Yeah, because and, they're exuding love. Yeah. That's, that's, I loved you with all yeah. my heart. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> this line um, can go many places. <laughs> I love that you just said that. <laughs> but now it's getting late and the moon is climbing high. I want to celebrate, see it shining in your eye. You know, somehow right now, this song like almost speaks to me sitting right here in this room. Like he wrote it when he did back in the day. And it is literally making a comment on what we were just talking about, sitting across from each other, having this conversation, Donna, and me looking at you and you looking at me, knowing what we're going to say, seeing that shining in your eye. Knowing that moon is going to climb up high and be a full moon coming up this weekend and just kind of like we're celebrating this song and we're also having a, a celebration of the harvest moon and we're celebrating right now having this shining in our eyes in this moment, discussing this, mm -hmm. enjoying this, speaking to all of you. I, I, know I also seems... <laughs> see this as the end of life. Ah, beautiful. Now it's getting late. Yes. My, my, you know... Mm -hmm. My, I'm getting old. Time is drawing near. Yeah, I'm getting old and the moon is climbing, climbing high. high. Oh yeah, let's celebrate. I want to celebrate, yeah. see it shining in your eyes. Yes. Can you get to that point mm. in life yes. where you know the sun, the moon is shining in your eye? Mm. You know that, that you've done everything you can and yeah. you're just in that place of allowing that love and light to shine through you to everyone else because it's getting late. It is. <laughs> and that moon is climbing high. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Time and, um, is drawing near. To, right. The time know. is now. Exactly. So you can have that moon shining in your eye before it's too late. Because we are just going to celebrate right here, right now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Because why? I'm still in love with you. I want to see you dance again. Because I'm still in love with you. On this harvest moon. Yeah, and we go back to that beautiful word of harvest. harvest. And that's the two weeks, in a, like the second week mm -hmm. that we're talking about the harvest and talking about um, you reap what you sow from last week and then this harvest moon to this week. Yeah. And it, it is, um, it's incredible because it has so many, so many ways of taking harvest and, and 
kind of manipulating what it could mean. You know? Right, right. And, and, and in, in this case, um, I almost think of harvest as it could be interpreted like you could put it in the thesaurus alongside the word manifestation. Yeah. Or manifesting. Yes. And, and that's kind of where I feel very comfortable going this morning, actually, about mm -hmm. the harvest idea and to the harvest moon in the sense that let's manifest some things. Yeah, for you know? me, it's let's make every moon a harvest. Oh, my gosh. Moon. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, it's beautiful. time now. <laughs> it is. It is time it's now. It's time. Yeah, because the time is getting late. The time is getting late. <laughs> yeah, and so now understand how much you are loved. I'm in love with you. You are me and I am you. We are all that one love that comes from love that is love. That is love. And be at peace within the love that you hold for yourself. And then you can reap the harvest. Oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs> There's this one uh, quote, and I actually, um, I can't remember who said it, but I'm going to try to remember it as well as I can, and it is, um, use the talents you possess. The woods and forest would be terribly quiet if only the birds that sang were the ones that sang best. Mmm. Thank you, Bruce. That was beautiful. It is beautiful. It is. Yeah. Use the talents, you know, and, and those, those talents, you know, it, it isn't for anyone else but you to determine what your talent is. Right. Right. Because... And it can, oh my gosh, Bruce, I remember um, my father, such a wise man, Forrest Wood. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's an amazing name. <laughs> he, um, <laughs> he told me when I was younger, um, it doesn't matter what you are in life, Donna. You could be a garbage collector. Just be the best <laughs> damn garbage collector there is. I love that. And love. Yeah. Love what you do. Absolutely. Just just love. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. Is whatever you do, do it in love. Absolutely. Be love. And be it, <laughs> yes. And and it, 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 it always starts with, with you, you know, and uh, I would say that if you, if you ever need to, to meet or see somebody, I don't know how, um, how I do. I'm just going to say that uh, I love being here with Donna and I love this moment and I love these guys. I love being in the studio with Ryan and Donna. And we love you guys. We do. Thank you, we love so, you so much, much for listening. Thank you. But if you ever need to feel like you get to witness somebody that absolutely loves themselves and exudes it like i i have to say tanisha yes. just exudes the love and yes. she is just amazing and she'll be here next friday next friday <laughs> day. and so um i just have to say that like there is no doubt that if you need somebody that can help you find that mm -hmm. that is somebody you could look to or you know i would say you know we we try to feel that love too here because right. i feel it so strongly yeah. and um I love that. Yeah. Thank you. So, thank you no, all thank you. Yes. so much for listening to Lyrical, Lyrical Wisdom, Wisdom here on WQEE 99.1. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here